Hi, I'm Iris Watson. I own Thompson's Garden Center in Alameda, and I wanted to share some gardening tips with you today, and specifically small-scale gardening, and even more specifically, small-scale edible gardens. You know, if there's anything that I've learned from the economy tanking a couple of years ago, it's how many people are really, really into the desire, anyway, to go out and create their own edible garden. A lot of them have never touched soil before, much less, you know, known what to, on earth to do with the soil once they've got it. So I put together a few things here that might help you, you know, sort of think out of the box, if you will. A lot of us think of God's little acre in terms of a vegetable garden, but it does not have to be that way. Just remember, anything can be grown in a container if you give it the right size container for the right plant and if you give it the right exposure. Almost all edible plants want to have a good six hours of sun a day. Winter time, which is where we are right now, you can kind of hedge that a little bit. Summertime, you know, it's that 11 to 4 window. What we put together here at the nursery is bright light Swiss chard, and there's four little plants tucked in. Is that not a killer color? Four little plants tucked inside a 10 inch pot, no, 12 inch pot and then we put pansies around the outside of it just to make it pretty. So you could sit this anywhere. You could sit it on a fire escape. You could put it out by your front door. I mean, it's totally attractive. A family of four could be harvesting off of this for probably three or four months during, we've been, we've been availing ourselves of it for, I would say at least December. We're now into February, so herbs. Absolutely, you can grow herbs in a container and you can kind of pack them together. It makes it for a shorter period of time, you know, for shelf life. But, you know, after two or three years, you either step it up to bigger containers or put it out in somebody else's dirt. But here we've got thyme, oregano, parsley, and sage. Here I've got chives, more oregano, sage again. Um, like I said, you're only limited by the space where you can put a container. But let me suggest that you throw away the concept of your windowsill garden. If it's if the windowsill's outside, you're okay. Indoors, plant material that wants to be in full sun is like a magnet for insects, you know, aphids and thrips and mites and what have you. So it's a short-term success rate for that. I mean like weeks as far as I'm concerned. This is an artichoke plant. It's a gorgeous plant in a nice big 18-inch pot. It would give you some drama and shape for years and it blooms beautifully because if you don't harvest the artichoke, you have this terrific lavender blue thistle plant. These are just a few of the things that are available for you, but if you peruse the tables, you can do a broccoli. Like I said, you can do almost anything all year round. Tomatoes, put some basil around the base of your tomato in a pot this size, you're home free. I hope that gives you some ideas and stop by at the nursery sometime if you'd like and we can go over it in more detail. Thanks.